Hello, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpios. I'm going to look in and just give you a quick energy update, see what your person is wanting to say to you. I'm going to pull some of these cards going through a rebirthing process, a psychic awakening. So I'm just going to get the general energy with these cards and then pull some specific messages for you that they want to directly tell you. Oop, these two popped out. Let's see from the direction they originally came. Okay. What's your person want to tell you? Ten of Pentacles, we've got Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles reversed, Page of Pentacles upright. What's well, Pentacles? Could be an earth sign you're dealing with for some of you. More Pentacles. <laughs> we got Five of Wands here. We got Six of Pentacles reversed. We got Page of Wands. So pretty much all pentacles except for one wand and a one nine of cups. So earth energy is coming through really strong. So Taurus, possibly dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. Actually, we have wands here. So fire signs as well, possibly. Could be any sign, though. And it's just confirmation for some of you. I sense someone who's kind of been hot and cold with you because it's almost like this energy of someone who just wants what they want when they want it. Because um, pages can represent messages. And I almost see like this person kind of stringing you along a little bit. And it's nothing that you've done wrong. It's just their own... This person has a lot of ego. This person is kind of very selfish. They don't always consider the feelings of others. Might even be a little bit um, narcissistic at times because it's just this energy of... Um, it was like the inner, this energy of disappointment, almost like they feel like they don't take responsibility for themselves. Like maybe they think that they're the one that got screwed over here when they actually screwed you over instead. And I just want to say, if this isn't resonating, it means it's not your reading. You know, it's possible that you'll resonate with my, you know, specific cancer videos or specific Scorpio um specific Pisces videos it's possible that those are your readings and that this is just a different group that I'm channeling so just keep that in mind that maybe those are your readings and this isn't but um but yeah if it resonates you know take what resonates but but yeah I sense kind of a selfish energy here so nine of pentacles so upright this would be like abundance this would be like good harvest like reward for hard work and I almost feel like this person just they don't appreciate the things that they have. They always want more. Like nothing is ever enough for them. Like it, everything you did was just never like in their mind. It was just never enough. Um, let me see here. So I'm just like sorting through this energy. Uh, yeah, Nine of Pentacles reversed. I feel like I feel like some of them are playing the victim and feeling like you hurt them. Like there's like a sense of disappointment here. Like the good harvest they wanted didn't come to fruition. But it almost makes me wonder if this person is a little bit controlling. And so it's like they wanted it their way and it wasn't happening their exact way on their exact timing and they didn't like that. Um, I, I'm not going to lie. Whoever this, whoever this ex is that I'm channeling, I don't get a great energy from them. I do want to remind you guys that if you're drawn to my channel, I also channel new love a lot. And for the Zodiacs that are drawn to, to this video, you know, the majority of you have new love coming in. So Mercury Retrograde might very well bring one or more exes back into your life, but you have free will. You have the option to say, you know, no, I'm not going to get into this hot and cold merry-go-round with you again. I'm going to keep manifesting new love. I'm going to keep breaking my old patterns and I'm going to go for someone who's not my usual type. Because this energy I feel from this ex is kind of toxic. I'm not going to lie. I don't get a good energy. I just want to say, please don't dislike my videos just because you don't like the ex. Because when you dislike my videos, you're basically telling YouTube that the video is crap. So I, I get that a lot of you are going to be like, oh no, I don't want to talk to that fool ever again. But you know what? I'm just channeling the story. This is what's coming out. So so please keep that in mind. When you dislike my videos, you're not disliking your ex. You're, you're disliking the energy I'm trying to you know, I'm trying to tell you what's going on here. And again, this is only, this is only if this is your story, if this is resonating for you. But yeah, I sense the, the selfishness. It's like they feel, they got a big ego and they feel like you screwed them over, but I don't think you did. I think that you guys had communication issues or there was some silence or distance or maybe they expected you to chase them and you're kind of more old fashioned and you wanted them to do the chasing 
Um, and their ego is just too big. Like they're used to having people come to them. They're used to having people stroke their ego and you weren't doing that. And they didn't like that. They, they didn't like that you were trying to draw them in. They wanted you to just go to them and just kind of baby them. <laughs> Cause here it could also be someone that has been more focused on career and finances and like they're doing all this other stuff in their life and then when they're lonely they want to be able to pop back in and say you know I miss you how have you been let's hang out maybe even have some sex and then when they're focused on career or finances or whatever else they're back to just doing whatever back to ignoring you back to ghosting you it's I'm not gonna lie it's a toxic I'll tell you the story you know because you have free will it's up to you I personally would not go for this if this ex does come back around this person that's thinking about you, that's wanting to communicate, I wouldn't go for it because it's still hot and cold. They're just feeling lonely right now. And with Mercury Retrograde coming up, it almost always brings exes back. So, you know, shield your energy. Um, don't don't fall into this, this trap with this person again because they know it's almost like an empath and narcissist connection here because they know how to push your buttons. They know how to trigger you. They know how to make you feel bad for them. They know how to manipulate you. They know that you're lonely. And so they know how to pull you back in. But then they're always focused on other things in their life. It's just, they would probably lead you to believe that it would go somewhere like, oh, I've been missing you. I've been thinking about you. But I think deep down, you know, you guys might have sex or you might hang out a little bit and then they're going to ghost you again. So there's that warning there. I just, I don't get a good energy from this person. I really don't. But, but yeah, it's like messages. Pages are messages. I also kind of see them as like, could be a new start. I see it as, it's like they had a new start with like maybe career or finances or whatever else was going on in their life. And then it's like, you guys weren't talking much or you weren't communicating well. I also see it as like, well, like miscommunication, but like also I kind of see it as, both playing hard to get it is like you're waiting for them to chase you and they're waiting they're so cocky that they're like waiting for you to chase them even though it's their turn to be pursuing you because they're the one that messed up after all the time after all this time and this is somebody who's stingy with their energy so six of pentacles upright would be somebody who's giving who's kind who's loving who's generous and this is someone who's like you know upside down it's kind of like someone who just guards their energy um who this could actually actually this could be telling you protect your finances if this person borrowed money from you this could be a, a huge warning that they're maybe not doing finance for some of you not for all of you but for a couple of you do not don't give them money please don't give them money that is your money you earn that money i i i just i i'm i personally would not ever date a man that borrowed money from me I have in the past but I wouldn't do it again I would be done I would be so turned off I wouldn't even want him back at that point point. and this could be male or female asking for money either way but there there could be a warning for some of you to guard your money when this person comes in that maybe they're going to try to manipulate you because they know you're lonely um but but you got to hold on to your money they're just trying to get some money and then you could even steal money for some of you because I really get a bad energy here so so you know that is your money that you earned money is energy it's something you put you put the effort you put the work into that, that that's all your energy there needs to be a mutual energy exchange and you're not getting anything back from this person anyway so you hold on to your money please um for others of you i feel like this card just means that they're just stingy with their time and energy. They just, they only give a little bit of themselves. They're not going to give you much. And then they come in and communicate. Yeah, communicating about money or communicating it like, you know, passionately. But it's like, it's like they're still playing games. They're still wanting you to chase them. They're just too narcissistic. You don't want this. I don't think you want this. But there's still a warning about it coming back around and that you need to be on guard that you need to be prepared for this because you are, I think you are really lonely right now. And so I think that when this comes in, I think it's going to be kind of hard to just ignore it. And so it's maybe that's, you know, I think what you're getting here is a warning that this person is thinking about you and you might want to do cut and clear work. If you know who this is, you might want to cut and clear that connection um, because otherwise they're picking up on your energy and you're picking up on theirs too. And so you, you might want to just, you might want to clear that out so you can free your energy up. 
because this is toxic. I'm not going to lie. This person that, I, that I'm that i channeling here is toxic. Whoever this ex is, is someone who is potentially even abusive. I, I do not get a good energy here. You come off uninterested and detached. Yeah, they're too narcissistic to deal with someone not chasing them. They're so used to being chased. They don't, they're never going to chase you. They're just not, they might message you casually, but they're just, they're so cocky. They're just, ugh. I'll always find you. I'll always come back for you. Yeah, if you don't want that, you got to cut that out. You got to cut that connection. I know it's hard because you're lonely. It's really hard. Um, but like I said, you have new love. You can break this pattern. You can have more than this. It's up to you. It's your path. My guides constantly remind you of me, remind me of you. I can't escape the synchronicity. Your name comes up in conversation. Could be if you've done a binding spell, it's still attached. Like you guys are still attached. Or there's just still cords that need to be cut. There's cords that need to be cut here. There's someone new coming into your life. Yes, you have new love. You do not have to settle for this, this garbage person right here. I want to be honest, open, and vulnerable. I want to tell you my secrets. I lied to you. You probably know what that is, something specific. I lied to you about something. I'm intentionally telepathically communicating with you. I'm trying to manifest our reunion. Yeah, they're trying to pull you back in because they don't want to text or call first, so they're trying to get you to do it. I want to ask you out, but I'm afraid you'll say no. That would be awkward. Some of these could actually be from the new person that's kind of noticing you, but they don't know if you got some other crap going on here, so they don't know what to do. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> I hope that resonates. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't give you a more positive message, but I think it's, I think as you move out of this energy and as you cut and clear this person, um, as you start setting boundaries and start saying no to this, like, no, I'm never going to let someone borrow money from me again. No, I'm never going to be abused again. No, no one's ever going to talk to me like that again. No one's ever going to do ghost me. No one's going to do this to me anymore. I'm going to protect my energy more and not allow this you know as you shift out of this energy as you raise your vibration and you stop allowing this you're going to be manifesting that new love it's going to treat you well it's probably not going to be your usual type it might not be your usual type it's it might be someone out of your comfort zone you know there's a, an energy to to push out of your comfort zone here and this is just like a warning do not give in to the loneliness um do not give into the loneliness because it's going to be they're going to present it as if it's different as if they've changed as if they've missed you just come over and it's going to be so hard to resist it but if you do I see for some of you it's just going to be a one night stand they're going to want sex or they're going to want money or they're going to want attention because they're lonely or a combination of all three and when they get that that's done it's like you guys are going to hang out for maybe a week at most maybe that probably about a week at most I would say Maybe even just one night for a one night stand, but they're not going to say that. They're going to say that they miss you and blah, blah, blah. And it's just going to, you know, it's the same old story intuitively. And when this comes in, you need to be honest and you need to listen to the red flags because you know better. You already know that it's not going to go anywhere. So you need to not listen as hard as it is. Don't listen to the loneliness. Cut this out. Keep focusing on ending these patterns, clearing your own energy, healing, um, cutting and clearing this person and, and manifesting this new love, manifesting someone who's not your usual type, you know, continuing to raise your vibration and get out of your comfort zone. So I hope this resonates. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and please subscribe if it resonates. And if you want me to look deeper into your situation, maybe channel this new love, see what else is going on in your life. I do paid private readings. I do have some specials going on for January. So my email is below. Thank you for watching.